Sean's just got to tip the glove with Nazi Fuel Depot. And you may have already noticed the stylized black and white look of the game. This is what we call the will to fight. And as Sean fights back against the Nazis in these grand acts of defiance against the occupation, a return color to these areas and inspire the people. We really fell in love with Harris because it has these amazing monuments and architecture, and as well as this whole world of amazing rooftops that we wanted Sean to be able to explore. So we made a sandbox where you can go anywhere, run, drive, climb, anywhere you can go at when you want. And yes, you can absolutely climb the Eiffel Tower. From here you can see just part of the huge open world we built. Every block filled with something to experience. But enough sightseeing, we have a fuel depot to blow up. He could just grab a gun and try to crash through that front gate with it, but a good saboteur knows the best approach is quiet in, loud out. <laughs> Trying to get into the heart of the base, crawling with Nazis, is a dangerous task for anyone that doesn't belong there. But by sneaking up carefully behind an unsuspecting Nazi, Sean can take them out quietly with a quick snap of the neck. From here, he can take their uniform and wear it as a, as a disguise, which will allow him to move more freely through the enemy patrols. But at the same time, he still needs to be cautious not to draw too much attention to himself. So as he gets close to his target, he'll need to check to make sure no one can see him before he plants the explosives. With the charges planted, this is definitely not a great place to hang out because in a whole second, in a few seconds here, this place is going to go up in a ball of flames. Thanks everyone, I look forward to seeing you.